Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back with another GTA 5 outfit tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to merge bulletproof helmet. Guys, in order to merge the bulletproof helmet, you need one adversary mode bulletproof helmet. You can do this by doing a... If you guys playing Xbox, only way you can get adversary bulletproof helmet by doing a director mode glitch. I already made a video on the channel. Please watch that before you do this if you don't have one. PSN players, I already made a separate video. You can get the bulletproof helmet in two minutes. We have a job link for PSN players. Go watch the video. It's all in my channel, guys. So you need to get one of those adversary bulletproof before you guys do this glitch. Okay, this is we're gonna do a bad glitch, pretty much. So if you guys uh, don't have two console, you can always do it with the trusted friend. But be careful who you're giving the account, okay? If you have a family members, or you have a best friend you can do with them okay so that that, that pack is clear now the net cut you can download the net cut link in the description you can use it for your computer or Android devices like your Samsung and stuff uh, you cannot do it for the Apple so keep that in mind so go ahead download the net cut link in the description once you guys did it you are good to go so first thing is first we can make a C1 outfit and serve them up okay for the C1 outfit what you want to do you need to buy biker helmet so go to biker helmet here there we go we're gonna buy the uh, green one green demo if I spell your name wrong I'm sorry but yeah so green demo, go ahead buy that up and you're gonna serve this one on C1. Alright, C2 guys, we need to we need to transfer any color adversary modes helmet. So we need to go to the beach to do the glitch. Okay. Alright guys, as soon as you come to any telescope, you can do use your apartment or you can use the beach. Run in and oh my bad, sorry. So what you want to do, you're going to go ahead and select the outfit, have the uh, helmet on it. Uh, we're going to use this pink helmet and we can change it to red, okay? Oh god. Damn it. That, that glitch, I messed up. Okay, here we go. So, basically, pretty much run it. Press right in the D-pad. Go to your style. Go ahead and select your C2. Walk away. Boom. Now you're gonna run into the clothes store. We're gonna serve this as a C2. As soon as I get there, I'll be back to you guys. Alright guys, as soon as you make your way to the any clothing store, go ahead serve this as your C2. Here we go. C2. Double serve it. Make sure. Alright. I show you how a C1 look like, okay? C1. This is how the C1 look like. C2. Okay? Pretty much. So from here, we're gonna make our way to outside the clothing store. Okay? Wearing a C1 outfit and you're gonna select a pair of glasses. So what you guys wanna do, go to accessory, go to glasses, one right in the D-pad. Boom. And back out. You will get a force to serve loading screen. If you don't see it, you have to wait a few minutes before you do it. Make sure, make sure you need to force to serve it. As you can see, I don't have the loading screen, so I'll be right back. I have to wait. Give it a few seconds. It will let you do it again. All right, let's test it out. So what you want to do, go to accessory and left and right. Back out. There you go. As you can see, I'm getting the loading screen. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to activate the C2 console. Okay. Alright guys, so I will explain the net cut now, so pretty much I will explain you guys everything much as I can. So here we go. As you can see, I have my C2 console screen. Hold on. There we go. So as you can see, I got the C2 console. It's standing there. It's a small screen. It's a C2. The big screen is C1. I like to explain you guys because, you know, every time some new members watching the video, you know, they need they need that so if you guys already know you can skip this part so okay 
So go ahead, copy my settings, okay? I will leave the Netcat settings on the screen. Once you guys figure out on your Netcat website, which one is your C console page and C2 console, you don't really need the C2 console, long as you guys find the right IP between your console one and your Netcat page, okay? You can check your IP between all the pages on the Netcat, okay? You can actually see it. So once you guys find the right IP between console number one and Netcat, okay? You can rename your Netcat console number one so you, you don't have to every time change your IP, okay? Once you guys rename it, you are good to go. Okay, so PSN players, you don't have to wait five minutes. As soon as you guys activate the Netcat, you can go ahead, log in your second ex uh, console. Xbox people, once you guys copy the settings, your net network will get activated, okay? Well, then you have to wait five minutes before you log into your second Xbox. Also, if you have a pro version, uh, you don't have to wait five minutes, Xbox players. You can just click the simple button and you're good to go. So you just have to play with the Netcat, guys. As you can see, I'm loading in my CE2. Alright, so when you guys load in C2, sometimes it will asking uh, you want to end the lobby or anything like that. And press confirm, confirm, right? Try to restart the game over and over. It will eventually load in, okay? So if you've done everything correctly, your C1, as you can see here, C1, you won't get kicked. Absolutely nothing. You would stand here. So make sure. Put a rubber band or something like that so you know you won't get kicked out from the lobby as well so as you can see i'm loading in c2 as soon as i load in c2 i'll be back to you guys and then i will explain the rest of the step all right as you can see guys i'm joining on c2 okay so as you can see my c1 still standing so i'm gonna make this screen bigger okay so i will explain a couple of more stuff here before we do it okay your friend if your friend doing this all he have to do log in the C2, simply select C2 outfit. Okay, once he select the C2 outfit, as you can see, we have a loading screen. Forced to save loading screen, right? Wait till the forced to load loading screen disappear, and all he have to do select the Franklin. And once you go to the story mode, he just have to close it. This is your friend. If you don't have two console, this is your friend steps, okay? I mean, it's the same step for you, but I'm just explaining something different, so you know what I mean. Yeah, your friend can do this for you, and you know, you can help each other, but guys, be careful. There's a lot of scamming, okay? You know, people join up a Discord, even scam motor cars. They just say, let's try it, and then they scam the motor car and leave the lobby, so. Don't trust like random people and give you accounts. You know, not everybody gonna do it, but it's safe to say don't trust any random people. And if you lose accounts, it's that's on you. So if you have a family members, it will be easier. Or otherwise you need two consoles. I'm sorry, but this is the only way we can merge it. So yeah. Okay, so once we go in story mode, just simply go ahead, turn off your second Xbox. You don't really need that. So now what you want to do, guys, wait. Okay, wait till your Xbox or PSN turn off, like 100% turn off. No rush, okay? Take your times. If you fail it, you have to redo this whole step. So just take your time, give it a few seconds, you know, once your Xbox or PSN fully turn off. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go to interaction menu on our main console. Okay, hover over and get ready to unrelease the net cut. Remember those numbers that you put them on your net cut page? You simply wanna remove them at the same time. You need to remove the glasses and here we go. I'm removing it, removing it, boom, boom. Now as you can see, we have another loading screen. If you've done everything correctly, once you fully served, you will get kicked out from the lobby. So as you can see, I'm still loading in. So give it a second, give it a second, wait till, there you go. Now I'm good to go. I know the game is served in now. So you will wait till you get kicked out. Once you get kicked out, you're gonna load back on GTA Online. When you load back on GTA Online, 
you will see your uh, character will merge. So as soon as I get kicked, I'll be back to you guys. All right, guys, as you can see, we are joining. So guys, if you don't get kicked, there we go. Um, the helmet has merged it. Also, guys, I do I do need to let you guys know if you don't get kicked out from, you know, after you've done the dead card, everything, you're still in the lobby. Just simply close the app and join back. You will be wearing the merged helmet. So you can go ahead and serve him up. I hope this. Uh, I hope I did explain you know much as I can but you know I hope this video is really help you guys out if I make any mistakes I'm sorry guys but I did try my best um, if you still need any help come and join the discord link always in the description yeah go get serve your outfit and you're good to go I don't know why I'm saving many times but yeah uh, I you can merge all the colors helmet like this okay so I, look I show you you can get a pink, you can get the green, you can get like other colors, white, you can get the white. So yeah, you can get any colors that you want. You know, let me know if you guys want me to make any other videos. I will definitely do that. And yeah, finally I complete one of the uh, black and red outfit. I don't know if I want to put a red jeans for that, but you guys let me know. Do you think the black jug or the red jug is good for this outfit? So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And i see you guys in the next one. Take care everybody and bye-bye. Stay safe.